hey, if you don't have time to get to class or there's no Kali classes or Kali schools in your area, don't let that stop you from training. I'm Tom, head coach here at Kali Center. Some of you have seen me on this channel before in other YouTube videos. Some of you are training with us inside the online school at KaliCenter.com. Today, we're looking at three solo knife drills that you have to be training in your solo practice. Grab your training knife and let's get started. All right, first and foremost, make sure you are using a training knife, not a real knife. I've got a training knife here. If you need a trainer, go to KaliCenter.com, pick one up today. Don't use a real knife. First drill, downward figure eight. Whether you're doing this on the slash, which is gonna be on the forward grip, or you're doing this on the thrust, which is gonna be on the reverse grip, that's entirely up to you. Hold the knife in your preference, whether you want the edge uh, out or the edge in, or you wanna have the tip forward in the forward grip. I'm gonna work the forward grip today. So from here, let's do some key details to make sure we really break down the downward figure eight and we can break it down slowly and then speed it up. From the top, we have that high forehand cut and that high backhand cut. We want this to be a large motion in the beginning. We wanna take up space here with the cut or if you're in the reverse grip, with the thrust. So start off nice and slow, emphasizing that downward figure eight. From the side, do it with me, whether you're working the forward grip or the reverse grip. Start off nice and slow, work the cut. As you start to get the hang of it, rather than tightening this up and just using the arm, see how long you can stay on precision with. Making sure those cuts are going full all the way through the center or those thrust for those of you that are using the reverse grip. All right, check it out. Drill number two is the slash and thrust combination. Let's break the drill down and start to expand on it. From here, we're gonna come into a low thrust. That can go down to the groin, even up to the abdomen or the plexus in this upward motion. From here, we thrust. We turn that into the slash. We thrust in the backhand. We turn that into the slash. We thrust on the forehand, turn into a slash. One more thrust, and we slash it back down. Thrust to slash, thrust to slash, slash it back down. So one, two, three, four thrusts on this. Getting both sides. Again, we're opening this up. Make sure you're in a really solid stance here. Keeping the knees slightly bent. Working this thrust to slash drill. Once you have this broken down, add that into your downward figure eights from drill number one. Drill number one goes right into drill number two. Amazing how that works. And then we go back into the X. Downward figure eight. Once you start to get the hang of this, from these large cuts on the downward figure eight, see if you can bring that into thrust to slash and start opening that up into different lines. You can visualize different opponents. You might have to change the elevation and then come back up. You might have to go downward. You might have to come upward, coming back in the thrust to slash. Working the horizontals and the plus. Working the verticals alone. Can you bring that vertical cut directly into the thrust to slash? Starting to flow these together, starting to express it through your Kali knife training on these different combinations. If you really want to take your Kali to the next level, then you need to sign up to the online school at KaliCenter.com. We have an on-demand video library, tons of content for you to train at home with and with partners. We also do monthly live stream classes, two classes a month with the playback. So if you can't make class, you've got an online video library just waiting for you to up your Kali skills and one-on-one -on -one video coaching where we custom tailor training plans for you so you can up your Kali skills into 2024 and beyond. Again, the link in the description below this video, online school, KaliCenter.com. Let's get into drill number three. The last drill, the targeted striking drill. Find something that you can make impact to, like soft pads, a tire stack, a heavy bag, something that you can actually make contact to. The forms that we work in the air are extremely important, whether that's the thrust to slash 
or that's the downward figure eight that we covered today in our training. Now, let's start to ramp this up a little bit and bring that to some impact. I'll be using a tree. This tree has been really great for me since my solo training because you can make a little bit of contact but get a lot of feedback. Remember, the more adaptable you can be, the more opportunities we can open up in our environment. So let's start off nice and slow with our first drill on the downward figure eight. We can make contact here. Just light contact, making sure that it's nice and smooth. We are still touching the object, something that you're not going to destroy. <laughs> we can even come off that and work our visual and then move back into our cuts. From here, this brings us into drill number two on the thrust to slash. We can thrust, slash, thrust, slash. We don't have to make contact with every single one of them. We might come out one cut and then visual. We might just do the slash to thrust and then come back out. Starting to gradually pick up the speed. And pick up the power of our retraction. Start to add the X's, add your plus. You might even come upward. Make your way back into drill number two. Drill number one. Two into the plus. There's a thrust to slash right into the plus. Back into drill number one. You start to get creative and you start to open up new opportunities for combinations new opportunities to explore your collie training. With these three drills, you no longer have an excuse to not up your collie skills. Start slow, explore the process of training. That way you're not just trying to like rush through one thing. Take your time with drill one, work your way into drill two, and then see if you can combine them together into our targeted striking drill. If you wanna get your collie even to the next level and really up that performance into 2024, sign up to the online school, Try it for a month or two, on-demand videos, monthly live stream classes, one-on-one -on -one video coaching. The link for that is in the bio below this video, colliecenter.com. I'm gonna get back to training. I'm Tom, head coach here at Collie Center, and I'll see you in the next video.